Clients Funds accounts allow you to track retainers for clients. Client Funds transactions can move money into and out of funds accounts. For example, you can move money from a funds account to pay a balance due. This training video will show you the basics of setting up bank accounts, setting up funds accounts, and creating a new client funds transaction. From the Setup menu, select Bank Accounts. This list shows the bank accounts currently set up for your firm. When you set up funds accounts for your clients, they will be associated with one of your firm's bank accounts. Open any bank account to review its settings. In this example, we will review the settings for National Bank. For each bank account, you specify settings, such as which type of charges this bank account can apply payments against, and which types of transactions are associated with this bank account. You can also set up default descriptions for the transactions associated with this bank account. We will not change any of these settings at this time. Each client can have multiple funds accounts set up for them. In this example, we want to review funds accounts for Client Eastern. Switch to the Funds page to review the funds account set up for the client. For each funds account, the list summarizes information about the account, such as the associated bank account, replenish options, and the current balance. You can open the funds account to review or change any details of the account. We won't change any settings in this example. Client funds transactions move money into and out of funds accounts. Click Payment from Funds to Bill. This will create a new payment from funds transaction. The transaction type is automatically set to payment from account, and some other fields are filled in for you. You can change any of these values at any time. You can select a client for the payment, or search for a specific invoice to pay. In this example, we will enter a payment for invoice 10006. Client Eastern is filled in automatically, and details about the invoice are shown at the bottom of the screen. You can choose which funds account to use for this payment. You see that Eastern v. FHA has a balance, so we will use that account. The fields at the top of the screen reflect the totals for Eastern. You can see there is currently a funds balance of $8,300 in a balance due of $625. Today's date is assigned to the new transaction, but you can change this date if needed. You want to pay off the full amount of $625. Sage Time Slips fills in a default description. We will add towards invoice 10006 to the end. You can also use the buttons to the left to format the description. The invoice list at the bottom of the transaction lists the open invoices for the client. If there are multiple open invoices, you could choose which ones you wanted to apply the payment toward. Since there is only one open invoice, click Apply 1 to apply the payment to this invoice. The full amount is applied to the invoice. On the invoice list, you can now see there is nothing due for this invoice. When you have finished entering payment details, click Save to save the transaction. Notice the totals for funds balance and AR balance at the top of the transaction are now updated. 
When you are done reviewing the transaction, close the transaction.